Green ooze flowing out onto I-696 near 11 Mile has the EPA and state regulators out tonight to stop the flow of what they know is contaminated groundwater. Thanks for being with us for the news at 11. You can expect at least one lane on eastbound 696 to remain closed, likely through Monday. The state and feds know exactly what the source is here because they've been here before, and so have we. Mar McDonald is live in Medicine Heights tonight. Mar, I understand the heavy equipment just got there. Kimberly, it just did take a look. Let me show everybody. You can see that lane on 696 is blocked down there. They've got a backhoe down where the ooze is coming out of. A vacuum truck just pulled up here. The short-term issue is stopping that ooze. The long-term issue is where else has it traveled? Drivers started noticing green ooze coming out onto the freeway, coming, the feds say, from a now condemned former electroplating business above. There's a release of material that we believe is uh, from a former plating shop uh, that we believe has made it to the groundwater. This is not the first time the EPA has been out here. Back in 2016, a massive cleanup of a multitude of chemicals and hazardous waste had to be done at electroplating services. In short, it was a colossal chemical stew and clearly some of that stew is deep in the ground and is oozing out because of ice and water table changes. EPA is on site and will remain to suck this stuff out of the ground. That's the short term fix. The long term is going to require time and planning. There is a lot of clay in this area, so uh, we believe that it's that the, it's traveling on the clay. So it's going to take us some time to uh, determine how exactly it's traveling so that we can uh, remediate it. Back here live, while this spill is happening in Madison Heights right now, Macomb County Public Works Commissioner Candace Miller says her engineers are assisting Eagle as well as EPA out here because anything that ends up in the storm drains along 696 eventually heads over to Macomb and into Lake St. Clair. They, of course, would like to stop that. So that's where we're at right now. This is going to be an all 24-hour type of thing until they get this handled. Kimberly, Jason, back to you. Well, Mar, do we have any idea of what is in that contaminated groundwater? So they're testing it, Kimberly. They don't have those test results back yet, but they assume mm -hmm. that it is going to be corrosives, acids, uh, heavy metals, because that is an electroplating uh, facility, or it was. It's a condemned mess now. Uh, potentially other hazardous waste materials as well. So they're assuming the worst. Yeah. Back to you. Indeed, and we will be following it. Okay.